Megan is in auto idle. Stage two locks load is complete. There we heard the call out. Falcon 9 is now completely fueled. Wow. All of its propellants. So yeah, close down. So our starting, expect loud venting. All of its propellants, and we can see that leftover liquid oxygen uh, now being vented or released, uh, now flowing further away from the vehicle. So nearly 1 million pounds of liquid oxygen in RP-1 now on board Falcon 9. It is fully loaded and ready for launch. And coming up at T minus one minute, we'll hear that Dragon is in countdown. Its flight computer will switch to countdown mode and we'll hear that the flight termination system on Falcon 9 is FTS armed. FTS is armed, Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. And there you heard it, Dragon's, Dragon is in countdown. Dragon's flight computer in countdown. The flight termination system now armed. We should get the final go for launch from SpaceX launch director Mark Sultis. Dragon, SpaceX. Godspeed, go for launch. SpaceX Dragon, go for launch. SpaceX reports go, seconds. crew reports go, 30 seconds until liftoff. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and let's go. performance. The crew is already pulling over two G's. And next up is going to be a couple of events in rapid succession. First will be engine chill on the second stage and back engine. And there you heard that call out. And then we'll have Miko or main engine cutoff where the nine engines igniting will cut off in preparation for second stage separation. Then we'll see the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage ignite and continue to carry the Crew-5 astronauts to orbit. Just like we did on first stage, that MVAC chill is intended to help pre-chill the hardware prior to the full flow of that densified liquid oxygen. Stage one throttle down. At this point in time, those nine Merlin engines are beginning to throttle down in preparation for MECO or main engine cutoff. Standing by for MECO. And MECO. Stage two alpha. And Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. There we should see that second engine begin to ignite now. And obviously confirmed by the loud cheer behind us here at Mission Control Hawthorne. And we're also in two Alpha for the aborts if needed. Again, second stage is lit and continuing to carry the Crew-5 astronauts into orbit. 
We're now getting a view of the first stage uh, after that stage separation. The second stage is still being illuminated by that single Merlin vacuum engine, and that's on the right-hand side of your screen. First stage on the left-hand side of your screen, making its way back to Earth. We will be attempting to land it on our drone ship, um, which today we are using just read the instructions. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We did hear that acquisition of the ground station in Bermuda. The first stage is continuing to make its way back to Earth, and the second stage is going Great. to continue. Trajectory nominal. Another good call. Trajectory nominal. Drop and copy. Confirmation there from Commander Nicole Mann. You can also sort of see the, the Space Coast there in the background of the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. It also looks like you can actually see the thrust plume uh, created by the first stage as it's now rotating just out of screen. Second stage is going to continue firing until a little over eight minutes into the flight, really doing the heavy lifting now, getting the crew into orbit. Everything continues to look nominal on both first and second stages. As I mentioned before, the first stage will be making uh, a, a landing on one of our drone ships, which is currently parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. So we can see now that... Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory helping. Good confirmation there that we have good trajectory. The second stage now traveling over 5,400 miles per hour. Crew is pulling a little more than 1G right now. That's going to continue to ramp up, peaking just before we get to second stage cutoff here in just a few minutes from now. First stage will be performing two separate burns, a re-entry burn where we reignite three of the Merlin vacuum, or excuse me, the Merlin M1D engines on the first stage. Uh, we ignite the center engine into radial, radial engines to help slow it down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. And then the second final burn, and that will be the landing burn on our drone ship. And the single M back engine Dragon that you see. Trajectory nominal. The single M back engine that you see see on the right of your screen is continuing to fire. We did hear another call out that trajectory is nominal. Crew heading in the direction that they are supposed signal, to be. AFSCN. This single engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Now over 200 kilometers in altitude. We will start to hit events now in a rapid succession as the first stage continues to make its way back to Earth and the second stage continues its burn. Just a couple minutes left in that burn. For those of you just joining us, just over six and a half minutes ago, uh, our four Crew-5 astronauts launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, and they are now making their way into orbit on the second stage inside Dragon. Crew Dragon. Which we're hearing that the trajectory on that is nominal. Uh, Dragon copy. They are in, safe inside uh, Dragon Endurance, whereas the first stage on the left hand side of your screen uh, is making its way back to Earth. We are coming up to the re entry burn, which, as I said before, we ignite three of the nine Merlin engines to help slow the booster down as it re enters the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. As the entry burn completes, we'll be in the Stage final... Stage one, entry burn startup. So there we Stage heard the call two, out. You can there see it on your screen that that entry burn has been initiated. And as that entry burn completes, we'll be in the final um, different abort phases here shortly, which essentially correspond to areas along the very northeastern seaboard of the U.S. Stage and then, one, entry burn shut down. Great news, that entry burn was shut down, and then those last all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, Atlantic off the coast of Scotland for those abort zones.
everything continues to look nominal for both the first and second stage stages. And the crew with the second stage still attached is now traveling over 13,000 miles per hour. We're about 10 seconds away from Seco 1. Copy, Shannon. Shannon, that call, out, that call out for Shannon, Ireland, indicative of our final abort zone. After this, we'll see second stage shut off and we'll be listening for confirmation of a good orbit, which tells us the crew and Dragon are exactly and where they need to be. Down. And there we had confirmation that the stage impact one landing burn. has shut down simultaneously. Uh, the entry... Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And you heard that call for a good insertion. We will coast for a few minutes. There we can see the drone ship coming into view as Falcon 9 Launch attempts. Escape system. Stage one landing leg deploy. We can see those landing legs have now deployed. And as you can see on your screen, and you can hear by the clapping and cheering behind me, Falcon 9 has landed on our drone ship, just through the instructions, parked off the coast of Florida. We are standing by for second stage separation. And there is separation. Dragon separation confirmed. And Dragon, did you not right there? Dragon copy again. Dragon this year, launch right there on Dragon on behalf of the entire launch and recovery team. It was an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this mission with you. And while October 3rd may belong to the main girls, October 5th will forever belong to Crew 5. Godspeed, endurance. Cheers.